Yo, what's up, YouTube? Juke back with some more Judgment Apocalypse Survival Simulation. We just got another survivor notification. Nice. I did do a little bit of building in between episodes. Not really anything major. Just kind of let let them farm out some stuff. And uh, we put up the sheep. We put another training area, which is about to be built, and then another farm up here because my food is kind of on the brink here. And I'm, what I'm actually going to do is come to the um, the auto crafting, I'm going to set it to 75. I'm going to take the wood up to 200 now because I'm getting a little bit more people gathering. Stones is at 40, that's fine. Clay is at 40, that's fine. Wheats, uh, 50 to 100, that's fine. Bricks is at 20. Uh, we do have our bow for this guy, which is going to become an archer. I think I discussed that last time. Archer, evasion, and stalwart, which will increase his HP. It'll also give him the ability to either choose heal or protection, which increases evasion and armor. I mean, you can see what it does right there, but let's go save this turd over here. What do you got for me? A werewolf? That's a little scary, but um, okay. Dang. Do I take three? I don't. I kind of want to take four here because there's a werewolf. So, oh wait, oh yeah, Michael. We've got Michael, I forgot. All right, so Michael will be coming with me. He is, I want to rename Michael to Archer, Archer Tank. We could hit up some scavenging on the way back, which I think I might, because why not? I've got, I've got four people in my group. Should be just auto, auto, auto resolve on all of it. You do have to do a little bit of kiting and strategy in these because, uh oh. Okay, do I have any heals? Uh, okay. I think he's behind everybody, so he should be fine. You can see how little bit scary that is, man. I almost lost my archer tank. All right. Ava, darling, what do you got for me? Archery damage. Okay. Let's hit this one, and then we'll probably hit these three. So I'll resolve. And if you're worried about, like, dying... You don't have to worry about it because the game auto saves every time you initiate a combat. So if I went to if I went to load here, the scavenge that I just beat, it auto saved it at the beginning. So I could always just reload the save and um, and cancel it. Not I don't have to go through with it. So just hit all these up. We're only getting like a few things out of these, but the biggest thing that we're gonna get is hides. So we can make leather armors later on. Uh, also shields, you can make shields with hides, which are very good. And surprisingly, archers can wear shields. You're a fighter. You can equip sniper rifles. Okay, well, I'm just gonna call you, I don't know, 007. Wait, didn't I level you up? Oh no, oh well, we can just go damage. Ava, you need equipment. Make you make a bow. Should we make a shield? Yeah, let's make some shields. Archer tank. Um, now here's the real question. Do I really want to make you? I think I do. All right, yeah. Well, you're another archer, but I don't want to name you archer. That would be confusing. Let's name you blah, blah, something else. What's an archer? Legolas. Legolas was a guy, but you know what? It's 2020. Who cares? All right, Legolas leveled up. Um, archery damage. Dark weapons, holy weapons. Another level up on our farmer here. So, boom, farming speed 50%. Nearly maxed there. Once she's maxed, we're going to do a lot better on food. Right now, we're kind of struggling. The limit is set to like 100, I think. Yeah, we're, we're only... We're barely at 40, not even at 40, so. Speaking of, did I reprioritize Legolas? Oh, Legolas, you have. Okay, for somebody like this, I would say, yeah, occult research and train. Just basically do the, since you're a fighter, we want to level you up as fast as possible. Um, so just do the only thing that you're good at, really, which is occult research, which isn't bad because I don't really have a, an occult researcher. My farmer is, but my farmer is going to be researching forever. Like, it's never going to get past researching. Okay, we've got people attacking really soon. Another thing you can do is go to colonies management. You can click defensive planning mode. 
and you can take your people and set them up. So now, uh, when they attack, it'll ask me if I want to go into the, the defensive mode or whatever it's called. And then they'll all just run to their pre prepositioned spots. Speed things up, get this attack underway. Yeah, activate defense plan. Boom. See, so they'll all run to their positions here. This will be my... Oh, wait. Rockcraft doesn't have a position. So take Rockcraft and put him right here. And turn that on. It is kind of annoying to click this and then click that. I wish there was... I mean, I guess you could click the... Uh, wait. Colony management doesn't have a hotkey. Never mind. I wish there was a hotkey to turn on defensive mode instead of having to click the menu. That's kind of annoying. But, um, I don't have any more shields. Everybody's got an armor and a bow, so we're good. They're attacking from the north, so they're going to come around here. So I'm going to take all my guys, click them right here. I believe they do get cover in this rock. Yeah, they get a little bit of cover. Reapers do a lot of damage, so I'm going to want to focus them down. Okay, I have quick shot on somebody, right? No? Okay, not yet. Easy peasy. You can see how easy it's gonna be once I have like a choke. And this three layer setup means that the Reapers can't actually hit me from the edge. They have to walk in. So I get a lot of free pot shots off before they even get to shoot. All right, I'm gonna speed things up and just sort of let things run because this is sort of the boring part where I just wait for things to happen. So we'll catch you up in a little bit. All right, gathering efficiency, boom. We now... All right, so we've got our uh, ritual. Well, we've unlocked one ritual, which is uh, the rain dance, which just increases the speed at which our crops go and reduces the tending that it, they need. One thing I will note about occult research is that you might want to hold on to like one or 200 of it because there are some things that pop up that require occult research for you to handle. Um, things. There's one that gives you like negative 10 work speed or something. It's like a some mist or something that rolls in but uh, yeah it's nice to have a little bit on hand that you can just uh, work with those uh, we're gonna be saving for leather working next so i can unlock leather vests our next tier of armor um yeah other than that let's go ahead and perform our first ritual oh we have unlocked growth which rolls too apparently we did I unlock that i don't know uh, but let's do rain dance so our little legolas dude is going to run over there and actually we don't have we don't have anybody to do occult rituals. You like to do rituals though. So let's put rituals first. You're not that great at them, but you like to do them. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, apparently Gather is doing it. It should be Legless. Wait, let's see if I click Legless and move them over there. There we go. That's correct. I also did put another farm in and another well because my food just was not going up, so my farmer's got a lot to do right now, but... And the well wasn't necessary, but my water was down at one point. And then I'm gonna finish building my wall, and we'll probably just wait until the next attack before... Uh, we'll probably just cut to the next attack, because this is gonna be boring farming in between there. Hmm, Alright, we had the werewolf pop. This seems to always pop up. I think it's just... It happens every game. I've had it every game so far. But yeah, essentially one of your guys will start howling at the moon and they'll attract enemies and you've got to go investigate it at a point of interest on the map and figure out what's going on. The nice part about it is you actually get a trinket where the shield spot goes. You get a, like an attack speed trinket from it so it's really nice. Everybody's going to run to their positions. I did not end up finishing the wall but just a building here that's not built will actually act as a wall so even though it's not finished they won't be able to get through here uh, um, yeah everybody's got a bow armor my main guys have shields uh, no werewolves actually oh why aren't they okay i don't know why they didn't assume their defensive position but no problem we just take q and select ball archer tank in the front we should build some sandbags. Build some sandbags right here, so only one guy can hit our archer tank, and he's going to be under cover from everybody else. We should also have sandbags like here. Right, why aren't you guys attacking this reaper? Oh, 
they can't hit him. Interesting, okay. I may have to put something. Why are they this is Oh, okay. I get what's going on now. Uh this area needs to be blocked down. Yeah, see, we need a hunter occult research to actually investigate this stuff. Uh, Alright, here comes the attack. We got a few sandbags up, but I don't think it's gonna matter. This would have been a, a breeze either way. As long as you have, like, bows and stuff on everybody, it's, it's pretty simple. And you, like, choke, put them into a choke like that. Use a little bit of strategy in your defense. And, uh, no issues. That was a little uneventful. You know what? I might go scavenge. I think let's go scavenge some. Um, I've got enough people in base to where they can continuously produce food and water and things, so I'm pretty sure I can dip out and go gather some other things. Alright, let's do that then. Oh, before I do, I don't have bounty. Let's go to research. Rituals of get lucky bounty here. Also, let's go to research and get scavenging. Um, yeah, so double scavenge chance. Essentially, you just get have a chance to get double the resources that you find. And then we're gonna come over to here and we're gonna do our lucky bounty. It does cost rock and clay, um, so we're gonna do that ritual. And when it, once it finishes, that's when we'll go scavenge. Okay. Where do we want to go? It would be nice if I could go get some research stuff, but four people is a bit scary to try it on. Yeah, we could probably just come up here and clean some of this stuff out. They, I believe the point of interest don't respawn. At least I didn't notice them respawning, so... Clearing them out of the cloak. Ooh, this one's... I'm not actually going to auto-resolve that one. I'm not going to fight it at all, actually, because it's... It's a bit worrisome. All right, let's head back. Um, so we've got a bunch of empty ruins. One thing we can do is double up on our like crafting stations and things. So let's grab our workbench. Rotato tomato there. Grab this. Move. The you can move everything. Well, most things. So you don't have to like destroy it and build a new one. So we'll move our workbenches up there. Make another crafting station. We should also research the infirmary. Probably next. I would like to go into leather vests, but it's really nice having first aid. Uh, essentially, you can use wool to create first aid packs that you can equip as accessories instead of shields. Um, and then you can use those. Do I need another bow? No, I have a lot of arrows. Though. One thing I could do is make the bows and sell them. So I think I'm going to do that. It's definitely more profitable than selling the arrows, I think. Six arrows for two each so that's a 12 value and this sells for 24 but i'm also selling wood which has a value of maybe making the bows isn't really worth it you only gain a few gold and it takes kind of a lot of time to craft so it at the same time though you get experience for crafting so maybe it's worth it in that sense just to level up your dudes this clay i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is temporarily remove the gather limit on clay because i want a cabin here so I block off the ranged dudes from attacking this way. That way they're forced into this choke. Them. And it doesn't really matter where I chop now. I just want to chop close, essentially. All right, uh, Survivor, Mr. Survivor. Wait, how? Everybody's healed. All right, let's head over, get that Survivor up. And another addition to the crew. Uh, one more fighter would be nice, but I'm also needing... Okay, this is just a random encounter. Sort of like an ambush. These are typically easy. I haven't faced one that's more than like two little minor demons yet, so typically they're a non-issue. Yeah, hopefully this survivor, well, I was gonna say hopefully it's another attacker because the maximum you can have for like a, a road crew like this is five. You can increase that through research. the werewolf first. Cover doesn't work against melee, so it's best to focus the melee down first when you're all ranged like this. Double 
seven is uh, not in range to hit. I'm gonna slow it down so I don't make any major mistakes here. This is where the healing is really nice. I actually have nobody with healing. Um, some people have the innate ability to heal. I think priestesses always start with that, but I don't know. You are an academic. All right, well, so you're not going to be doing damages, but you are going to help me out with like farming and things. Yeah, I'm at 79%, so I don't want to stay out too long. But we can scavenge maybe a couple areas. My guys are quite healthy as well. Slow it down just a sec while I set up Stephanie here. I do have a bow for you, Stephanie. Uh, no armor quite yet, but we can go ahead and make those. Should I make another shield? I think I'm going to hold off. I'm going to start saving the um, the hides for leather armors because they, they're six each and I need a lot of them. So we'll just hold off on making your armor as well. Uh, priorities. All right, Stephanie, what do you like to do? You like the farm? I don't need more occult research, so let's give you a crafting job and maybe a research job, and then we'll add all the other jobs here. Um, yeah, so Stephanie is going to be a secondary farmer, which I will need because my crew is starting to get quite large. Let me do this. I'm going to move the stove over here. Add a secondary occult research here just so people have stuff to do if they need to. Also, let me add another bed in my bed area. And then, oh, we're not done with the rock shed. I could add another sheep farm on too. That would be nice so I get more wool. Uh, activate defense plan, yes. Stephanie does not have a defense plan though. Also, Stephanie, let me rename you to. Uh, what do you do? What do you do? You farm and then farm craft? We'll say farm craft. Everybody's equipped already. No more accessories. Let's go. Speed her up. Uh, no rain. Oh, we do have a reaper on this side, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. For some reason, they can't attack the Reaper from there. There we go. No problem, though. But that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We made quite a bit of progress. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight survivors right now. We've got four people who are doing fighting and uh, four who are just doing whatever else. So pretty good progress so far. No good weapons. Sometimes you get an event where you can get um, an Olympic bow, which happens quite frequently. Also, I have to take care of this night house. Um, where is it? It's up here. So let's look at it. We've got four werewolves. Four werewolves and two hellhounds. That's scary, man. Um, they're not probably not going to be together. So I'll be able to like pick off half of them. I don't have to fight them all at the same time. But we'll leave that for next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button if you did. And I will see you next time.